but I'm still gonna make really good money on this item. And it's an item that a lot of you see out there and you pass up. <laughs> Welcome back to Commonwealth Flipper. My name is Kevin. We are in the Commonwealth Cabin and today I have something that I've talked about before and I've even sold and shipped before but I haven't done it in a long time so this will be a new one for some of y'all. I think I bought this one actually at a what I called a lonely winter garage sale and I just listed it the other day because I put it up in the shed over not this shed into a different shed and I usually pull a few out at the same time and list them but I bought two similar items about a week or two ago at garage sales and I decided I'd take pictures of all three and list all three at the same time and get them up and listed and one sold really really quickly partly because I made a mistake but I'm still gonna make really good money on this item and it's an item that a lot of you see out there and you pass up either because you don't think about it or because you think it might be too much work to ship but I'm here to tell you it's probably not too much work for a lot of you out there. It might be for some of you, but if you don't mind doing 10 minutes of packaging, you can make a quick 50 bucks on this type of item. And I'll let you take a look and see what that is in just a second. But in the meantime, let's take a look at what else sold. As I'm doing this, I realized I didn't pull one of the items right off the bat. So I'm gonna pull it real quick and I'm gonna put you back up here and we'll let you take a look. All right, this one came out of our, I don't know if it's Froggy Flips. I think it's a lot of Josh. It is, that's where I put all that stuff. And this guy right here was from the exact change sale. And I think there are three items from the exact change sale that sold today. And this is one of them. This one sold for $23 plus shipping. And basically it is just a pipe cleaner. And there's a lot like this, but none with the red backing and this directions that I saw. So I put it out there for like three or $4 more than a lot of them. And I got it fairly quick. So I will show you the total on that exact chain sale after the three items because I don't want to show you three times. I don't know if you can see this or not. Bought this at the flea market on a garage sale video we posted a little while ago. And I think I paid, it was like a bulk little deal. I made two or three bulk deals with the same seller. Got this one and this one. You know what? I'm totally wrong. Now I remember I bought different cologne from that sale. I bought this from a sale I don't think has posted yet. And I made a pretty good little bulk buy there too and pulled these out of just a dingy old dirty box and put them in a lot of stuff and bought them. I don't even remember the price. But this one right here, even at $12.95 plus shipping will go a long way towards paying for that whole lot that I bought. And it's nothing special, y'all. It's English leather cologne. And the top is a little bit worn as well. These should be a little bit darker. Like they should have a better stain on them. It's full and it sold for $12.95 plus shipping. Nothing amazing. But when you can pick this kind of stuff up easily and put it into a lot, you'd be amazed at how much your profit turns into on one small little pick. Got another thing from the shelf here. So I'm not going to open it, but these are just Othello pieces right there. And I buy a Othello board game until I run out and then I'll buy another one and fill this jar up. And they sell little by little. $3.99 plus shipping and there's 12 pieces. And I think there's five of these sets Per. So if I buy the game for 50 cents, I'm going to end up making like 15, 16 dollars profit on that game from one listing and easy, easy, easy shippers. My next one is this vintage glove and there's a neat story here and it's actually not a story from the sale. This was also from the exact change sale. It's got writing on it. It's got all kinds of stuff. It's got a couple of autographs on it, but I can't make out who it is. And it even says uh, the person's name on it. It says 1952. It's another signature there. But it is in pretty rough shape. So I took the basic comps on this glove because it does have a model number. Most gloves have a model number. The modern ones have it over here. The model number is here on some of the older ones. And it says Globe G53. And I think that's interesting because the person who bought it. So this is a Globe glove, and the person who bought it, their name is I Love Globes. And of course, as a history teacher, I'm thinking of Globes, but this is a Globe glove. So I'm, I'm thinking there's probably a connection there, and maybe somebody collects these. So 
basically what happened is I, I listed it and there were some people watching it right off the bat. I think somebody sent me a message saying, hey, I'll give you $20 plus shipping for this glove. I had it listed for $30 plus shipping. And I told them no. I'm like, look, I know it's in bad condition, but I've kind of worked that into the price here already. And there's six people watching this. Well, they fired right back and said, well, watchers don't mean anything on eBay. And it's kind of rude to be perfectly honest with you. You know, basically, hey, you're missing out on this sale because you won't sell it to me for 20 bucks. And I'm like, <laughs> I didn't even respond to it at that point. I mean, what am I going to do? Argue with somebody I don't know for what purpose? And the next day, somebody paid full price for it. So I would say this, that people watching your items do mean something. Now, that doesn't mean you're going to absolutely sell it if you have six watchers on it after two days. But it's a pretty good bet you're going to sell it for close to that price. So pay attention to your watchers. You know, before you take an offer from somebody, look at how many watchers are out there. You might be better off waiting a few weeks and then sending an offer to everybody that's a little bit less than what you have it for than taking a lowball offer from somebody. I wasn't going to take an offer on this one unless it had been out there for months and months and months. I almost never take an offer from somebody unless the item has been out there for a while and there's very little interest in it. So pay attention to your watchers, not necessarily your views. Matter of fact, if you have a ton of views and no watchers, there's something wrong. There's either something wrong with your listing or something wrong with the item and it's a good time to go in and change it. But 30 bucks plus shipping and this was also from the exact change sale. All right, here's a great sale. These are Yamaha Blades ST30. I remember buying these at a sale in Roanoke last year. Matter of fact, it was on a video and I think they were asking 75 for them and I offered 50. I think he countered with 60. And I think we either were in between that at 55 or I paid the 60 bucks for them. Now this is an item that's kind of the antithesis of that one. This one was out there for quite a while at $179.95 was what this was out there for. And I wanted to wait through the springtime and see if we could get a buyer. Of course, with all the quarantine and shutdown, I don't know that all of the golf is going on that you would typically see. But I figured it would sell in the springtime. It didn't. And there were a bunch of watchers on it, and I had gotten some offers, some pretty lowball offers, to be honest with you, 100, 125 on this. And I finally got one for 150, and I'm like, you know what? I'm going to make a nice little probably $90 profit, maybe not quite that much because of fees. So if I paid 60 for it, it's maybe an $80, $75 profit on these after shipping. And I'll take that. Definitely doubled my money plus more. These blades, the gold color blades, they're not even in great shape. But it was a full set, including the pitching wedge. And always look for that full set, including the pitching wedge. If you can throw in the sand wedge, you're better off. Sometimes I'll even take the sand wedge and I'll sell the sand wedge separately and then sell the set through the pitching wedge because a lot of people have specialty sand wedges that they use and they're only looking for the full set. Anyway, any rate, $150 plus shipping on this set. All right, here's the last item from the exact change sale. And this one was just a simple Rubbermaid cooler. Nothing special to it. You can always find, well, you can't, apparently. I was gonna say you can always find the model numbers on the bottom, but I don't see the model number on the bottom of that one. It's in the lid, 2901. Do me a favor, if you're new to reselling, go look up Rubbermaid, completed, sold, actually type in vintage Rubbermaid, completed, sold, highest price, plus shipping first, and you would be amazed at how much old Rubbermaid stuff sells for. Now, this isn't that old, so I, who knows how old this thing is, but not very. And I sell these often. If I can buy them for a buck, I'll buy them. They usually sell between $10 and $15 plus shipping. It might not seem like much, but man, it's easy to take a picture of. It's easy to ship and it doesn't break and you usually make about $10 profit on it. Colors are important on that though. I wouldn't just go buy a plain Jane one. If you can get pink, pink and black, if you can get purple, those kind of usually sell pretty good. All right, with those three sales, the pipe cleaner, the glove and the cooler, so far from our $50 buy after fees, after shipping, our total is $332 so far. All right, full disclosure on this. Before I tell you, I made a mistake and that's why this sold so fast. And it's the same mistake I've made now 11 times. I didn't put shipping on this thing. Now, it doesn't really matter because the shipping on this is only gonna be $18 and I'm still gonna make a bunch of money. But this one should have made me more than it did. It's gonna make me a profit of right around 50 bucks. And I was counting on a profit of 70 bucks, but that's okay. We're gonna go ahead with the sale because it was my mistake with a little aid from eBay's insanity with this uh, app listing things. But at any rate, this is something you should look out for and not really be afraid of. 
this is just a plain Jane one, straight green, nothing amazing, but it's adjustable. And this is definitely vintage, that vintage aluminum one. And they are really light and they fold up really small. Well, they don't fold up really small, but really small compared to this. I think I'm into this one for three bucks and the buyer is all in for 86 something and it's being shipped two states over. So it's gonna be really cheap for me to go FedEx with it. And I'm all out of the boxes that the number seven box comes in, unfortunately. That's usually I would Frankenbox two of those together. But I save the boxes that I get my bubble wrap in. I usually get my bubble wrap. Eh, sometimes I get it from Amazon. Sometimes I get it from eBay. Just depends on whose links I'm using. It's basically the same price either way. And I get four rolls of it and they get a nice big box and I can use that one to cut it down and put this thing in and take it to FedEx. It takes me less than 10 minutes to get this thing prepped and ready to go. And that's pretty good bang for your buck for a uh, 50 plus dollar item profit. So don't be afraid of lawn chairs, especially the big folding ones. Even the, the, the rubber ones with the little straps across, I've passed on a few of those lately because of the condition. But man, those can go for good money in the early summer over a hundred bucks plus shipping. So pay attention if you're willing to do those, you can make pretty good quick money on them. Just wanna show you that thing all folded down. It, it's probably seven inches. Wait a minute, it gets less than that because you fold this back. That's You can get that thing down six inches probably and be all right, but maybe seven. Either way, there's my price tag on it, three bucks. All right, I have it four purchases from keith and janet keith keith look you look like you just stocked up for halloween so these were the one dollar retail arbitrage buys from blue ridge mama and the homeschool hustlers because they were all together at lowe's one day right when they marked them all down and they were i think marked down like uh 90 percent or something and the guy just said they're a dollar a piece and she just started putting them all in her cart so they're selling anywhere between i think 12.95 and like 15 dollars a piece plus shipping on that so i think we'll uh, figure out a way to reduce your shipping cost on three items going the same direction should be a little cheaper than that so and also a little banner so this is one of them right here this one right here the ice cream orange i think there's two different types of these and the thunderbolt right there and also a 2016 banner from the lynchburg hillcats it's a flag and it uh, commemorates their uh, Carolina League Championship, I think, in 2016. And that's all headed your way. Let me read what you put here. He says, Hi, Kevin. Wanted you to know that uh, my mug and Janet's mug came in in awesome shape. Mine is displayed in the Commonwealth Picker Collection. Thank you for making the world a better place. Bless you and your family, Keith, from Minnesota. So, Keith, thank you so much. And this stuff is all headed your way. Thanks again. All right, we have an Inner Man headed out to Lisa and one headed out to Gary and Lorraine. Thank you, Kevin. Our reselling is going well. Three months in, no store, just trying to get the good stuff to good people. Just doing some cleaning and clearing out of things taking up our real estate. So yeah, I get that for sure. And hopefully get it gone quicker. So that's why we've bought the Inner Man. So we've collected for years and it's just time to weed through it. Thank you for the great videos. The info is invaluable. We've both learned and continue to learn each time we watch. Thanks for having a video each day. Your family's adorable, especially those homeschool hustlers. They're cute as bugs ears. <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you so much to both of you and good luck getting rid of every single thing that you want to get rid of. And maybe that'll start you into buying and reselling as well. So keep us updated. We appreciate it. We hope he does get things moving for you bought a phone set and this particular phone set had one of the ch one of the handsets that didn't work couldn't get it to work it's kind of gunky anyways and i'm like well you know when in doubt parted out and that's what we did 12.95 on the base and the charger all right i take it back 11.95 all right this one's going out to karen she says it's her third one my friend is having reseller woes so i thought this would cheer him up and give him some luck so thank you so much karen and we hope your friend enjoys it and we hope that it gets things moving out of their store or however they sell if they don't have a store i always say store it just is easier that way so hopefully this gets things moving out of his store or his non-store thanks again all right these are currently on sale so eleven dollars and four cents which isn't much but it's only two dollars and eighty cents shipping and so the fees on that are going to be less than a couple of bucks so we're making just under $7 profit on these because we're literally into them for pennies. I bought like 30 or so, 
this was at a sale where you filled a bag or filled a box for a dollar and so i just cleaned house on this place and this is one of those things i debated for just a second but i'm like you know what every single time i sell one if i make seven bucks on it and i've got 40 of them it's definitely worth it because it's one listing all right that looks like it from in here so i'm going to get out there and i'm going to get things packaged up but i think if i remember there's a viewer gift in there and i'll show you that really quick there may not be i can't remember i lose track of these things sometimes and a homeschool hustler store sale so we'll go in there and take a look at that but either way i'm going to say goodbye from in here as i always do thank you all for watching every single day we hope you're having a wonderful beginning to your summer and we hope you're getting out there to some garage sales or thrift stores or wherever you need to be stay safe stay happy and we'll see you next time all right Turner, we have a homeschool hustler sale and this one is from a viewer and you know what they said that they want you to keep this right here keep yes. that because they have a lot of similar ones and they're going to send them to you and then you can put them all together and sell them in one lot yeah uh -huh. and actually i have a bunch of those on the other store except for i accidentally listed that one on this store <laughs> and i figured i'd just keep it on there so uh danish capital of california slovang or slovang i've actually never been there so anyway you know what we're going to do instead turner see that sticker in your hand yeah because it's roughly the same price and I need to send tracking out to this person because eBay is going to think I didn't ship it. So they're so kind to send us some stuff. We're going to send them that big old sticker. This. That die cut sticker that we have on the CommonwealthPicker.com store. And they're going to be the first one to get it because we haven't sent one out yet. So that's awesome. All right. And that is Alice Goes Nomad. And I want to say that you bought something from us before. So let me know in the comments if that's true. I'm pretty sure a long time ago you did. So thank you so much and thanks for the kindness. And guess what else sold? A hug a bunch. Hug -a -bunch. And Turner does not want to hold it because he thinks it's freaky. But it matches your shirt. And it sold for $32 plus shipping. And that came from Mount Plushmore. And I'll give you an update on how much we've made on Mount Plushmore. Tell Alice Goes Nomad thank you. Alice Goes Nomad. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> You're supposed to say thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Turner. Hey. All right, here's my chicken scratch in our big number so far from our $156 buy amount plus more. We are up to $1,755 after fees and after shipping. I hey, just want to show you a couple things came to our P.O. box really quick. This, well, I sent uh, something. I sent an autograph, and they said they're going to send me one back. And so here it is <laughs> and that is from frank frankie so we'll put that on the back back there and we'll uh let you see it when we get it up and this is from steven it's like a, a patriotic snuggie i think <laughs> like a onesie he wants me to wear it on july 4th so there is a zero i you know i love our country but there's zero chance i'm wearing that thing on july 4th especially here in virginia and steven i think you're from arizona so you you got a pretty hot out there too it's pretty human. We're not doing that. But Steve and I do appreciate it. I don't know. Yeah, highly unlikely. <laughs> but I appreciate it. Thanks so much. Just in case you're wondering here, $15.99 FedEx. 7 pounds, 14 ounces, 23 by 5 by 33. That's for that lawn chair. And these golf clubs were just one ounce too heavy. They ended up going for $13.66, which is still $3 cheaper than they paid. Mm -hmm.